Good afternoon. We are officially back in a fixed pros in Sim. And today we just worked on gold crowns that finally got delivered today. And we also worked on an amalgam core buildup. It has been nice being back in a fixed pros. It's definitely a change of pace, but I like it. Not much going on today other than papers and more papers. <laughs> um, Right now I'm writing a paper for professionalism and then we also have papers for public health and then I have a meeting today. Yeah, today is probably going to be a pretty chill and low-key day. I think my vlogs are starting to get a little bit repetitive because it's a lot of the same thing. Maybe I'll try to switch it up and, you know. I stopped by for some study juice, of course, and yeah, I'm just gonna crank this paper out and... Let's get to work. <laughs> so the time is 5.44 p.m. and I finally finished my paper but I don't know why this paper took me so long <laughs> but it's all done with so yeah I am feeling pretty unmotivated today so I don't really feel like working out but I feel like I should so I think I will do like a really quick workout maybe like 20 minutes or something just so I can get some blood flowing in my body because I've been sitting here for like four or five hours straight um, and then I don't even know what to do at nighttime. Oh, I do have, I have a meeting in about 45 minutes. So yeah, I'm gonna sneak that workout in and then I'm just gonna take it easy tonight because it has been a long day, so. than I expected for 20 minutes but that's good I'm glad I got a nice sweat in I burned 161 calories according to my watch not bad and now time for a little massage with my handy dandy massage gun hurts so good Alright, so my meeting is finally over and that took a lot longer than expected. It's already 8.15, but I still have to eat dinner and I've kind of been craving in and out but I think I should just stay home and cook. Um, so I think I'm going to make Dekboki tonight. I'm going to try to make it not too spicy. We will see how it turns out. I don't really have that many ingredients, but um, I'm going to use what I have in the fridge, so. It is no surprise that I have been on a Korean food kick these days. I attempted a dekboki with some shin ramen. This is reminding me of college, although I am quite proud to say that I have never lived off of ramen in college. But this is more of like, you know, a gourmet ramen. And there's rice cakes, fish cakes, cabbage, mushroom, and onions in here. Mm. 
Mm. Korean food, man. I decided not to add too much of the soup base because I didn't want it to be too spicy. And this is like the perfect flavor. Mm. Paired with these radishes. In love. I think this is what happens to me when I watch Korean dramas. Is I just have this intense craving for Korean food. Plus, this was so easy to make, so I guess I'm glad that I saved money because I was about to eat out. Mm. I also picked up this new um, Korean soup soy sauce that's supposed to be a lot better than regular soy sauce, and I added it in here. And I also added ketchup in here, some salt, pepper, sesame oil, sugar, and I just kind of threw in random amounts. I wasn't really following a recipe, but this is good. <sighs> Mm, 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 mm. I'm very happy with this meal. Mm. So the temperatures have finally dropped and it's a lot colder in Arizona now. So the comfy is out. So that means fall is officially here. I guess it's almost winter at this point because we're at the end of October now. My roommate was watching a Christmas movie earlier, so that's when you know it's winter season. What was I gonna do? Oh, yes. Anyways, I wanted to do a quick little face mask tonight. I am going to dedicate tonight to self-care because I feel like this week has just been pretty rough and I mean... We're barely halfway through the week, so. I just need a quick little pick-me-up. I'm gonna do a charcoal face mask. I thought that for tonight, I would try out meditating. And I was looking through some podcasts earlier, as well as Headspace, and I found a series called Transforming Anger. And while I was looking through um, meditation podcasts on Spotify, there was also a topic on transforming anger or something something about tension anger and irritation and I kind of wanted to talk about this topic a little bit just because I feel like anger is one of the emotions that I've been holding on to a lot these days um, I guess I just feel like the anger is a reaction to some of the hurt that I've experienced in some of my relationships in this past year. <sighs> Anyways, as I was saying, and I guess not only relationships, but also to situations that happen, whether it's personal or with things that are going on around me or in the world, it's hard to not be angry all the time. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's normal to be angry. It's like a it's a very normal emotion, but I guess it comes down to a matter of learning how to sit with that anger and process it and let it go so that it doesn't control you and let it sit for too long. So yeah, I'm definitely still learning and I've kind of experimented with meditation here and there, but it's hard for me to not be anxious, which is kind of counterintuitive because you're literally just sitting there but for some reason when I'm just sitting there listening I get even more anxious with my thoughts and it's hard for me to like sit there and focus so usually when I'm feeling anxious if I'm actively doing something like journaling or stretching like with yoga I feel like it's a moving meditation I can focus a lot better because I'm forcing myself to breathe I'm moving parts of my body but with meditation you're literally just sitting there and for some reason it's really hard for me I think meditation is something that just requires a lot of time and practice to really train your mind and body to do so yeah i'm i think i'm going to challenge myself to start incorporating meditation 
more often into my self-care practices. Thank you.